In this video, we will learn about perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are two lines that meet at a right angle. The way we notate this is with a little right angle symbol. If you see that, then you know that the two lines have to be perpendicular. You might remember that one good example of perpendicular lines is the xy coordinate plane the x-axis is perpendicular to the y-axis. It's also good to know how to notate that two lines are perpendicular if you have to write it out, for example, in a proof. So let's go back to our first example and add in some letters. Let's make this line AB and this line CD. So now we need to know how to say that line AB is perpendicular to line CD. The way you do this is with a symbol that basically looks like perpendicular lines. It looks like an upside down T. So line AB is perpendicular to, that's the symbol for perpendicular, line CD. So you should be able to remember this symbol and also if you see it be able to know what that means. Perpendicular lines have two interesting properties when considered with parallel lines as well. So let's say we had two lines that were parallel. That means these lines will never intersect each other. And we have a third line which is perpendicular to the first. Now I actually should have notated that these original lines were parallel, so there we go. So now we have this line, the purple line, is perpendicular to the first, and I can tell that by this right angle right here. Now, what this means is that the line also has to be perpendicular to the second line down here. So even though I didn't say it originally, it has to be true that this is a right angle. So basically, if two lines are parallel, and there's a third line that's perpendicular to one of them, it will have to be perpendicular to both lines. So any line that's perpendicular to a line will be perpendicular to all lines parallel to that line as well. Now the opposite of this situation is sort of also true. So for example, if we had two lines and a third line that is perpendicular to both of those original lines, our conclusion is that these two original lines have to be parallel. So even if we didn't know that originally, if both lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they have to be parallel. 